look at our jet stream. This is going to give us an idea of what kind of weather we can expect as we head through the next several days. A trough in the west, a trough in the east, and a big ridge here over the central states. And we're not going to see a lot of quick movement with anything as we head through the next several days. It looks like we're going to see a system just really blocked up against this ridge and not going to be able to move very much. And that's going to mean a lot of folks are going to see a lot of precipitation. That's kind of a general idea of what we're expecting. Let's take a look at the details of that forecast, starting out with Wednesday's weather. We can see that wet weather here in the west. Rain with mountain snow, some windy conditions. And then in the east, still expecting showery weather and thunderstorms not out of the question either. Things are just going to be real messy for folks from the Ohio Valley back into the Carolinas. So again, you'll need the umbrella as you head out. It's not going to be a nice day at all from Des Moines to uh, Cincinnati on toward Nashville and maybe uh, Atlanta or north of Atlanta. But what we want to focus on now is what's going on here in the west. And what we're seeing is, again, this is just not going to be able to move much at all. But we do think there will at least be a few showers around on your Friday. Now, to the west, some of the same areas are seeing rain here. Still the dark greens on the map, still the rain, still the thunderstorms. And by Saturday, you guessed it, it's still sitting right there, just not able to budge. But we do think things will quiet down in the east for your Saturday, with the exception of a few showers here in North Carolina. This is really going to be the air, but mildest, relatively speaking, here through the central states. Now, on into Saturday, we begin to see things maybe warming up a little more, and a lot of folks will at least see temperatures in the 70s for Sunday, some folks even into the 80s. Low temperatures, coolest to the north, mildest to the south, and that's what we're going to see Thursday on into Friday and on into Saturday, too. You'll see mild, muggy temperatures along the Gulf Coast. A reminder, that weekly planner is sponsored by Tecumseh. But it's time now for our weekend outlook, which is sponsored by Mazda. And here we go into some events for your weekend. The Kentucky Derby in Louisville look for a high of 74 degrees and partly cloudy skies on Saturday. Looks like pretty nice weather. And the Houston opened. Looks like uh, Saturday, a high of 78 under partly cloudy skies. On Sunday, the California 500, 78 and partly cloudy. Again, great weather here. And finally, the Arbor Day Festival in Nebraska City. Maybe some isolated thunderstorms, but mild weather, 73 degrees, the expected high on Sunday. Well, the big picture out there for Saturday, mild temperatures, no one really unbearably hot or unbearably cold. The rain is going to be around. Keep that in mind if you have plans this weekend. It's going to be a soggy one here in the areas that you see in green. Sunday's temperatures continue to warm on up, and the rain continues to stick around through the central states. Well, here's a look at what's going on out there right now. We'll have more on Weather Center next. Yesterday's th We're a little more active. We've got some rain here in western Washington and western Oregon, northern California, and also some rain with this system here that we're going to be keeping a real close eye on this through the next several days. But Four Corners region right now, the coastal areas of California right now, really pretty quiet. But you've had some windy weather. That includes you in San Francisco, where it was a windy tomorrow. Now, northward, it's the wet weather that we're concerned about. Scattered showers here around Seattle and Portland. It's dry, at least through mid-morning, but we will expect rain with mountain snow in the northwest. Jim? With continued U.S. military involvement. Our Michelin drivers alert, Chicago, rain showers for you, and that could cause some problems on the road, some slick areas out there, so take it easy. Now, across the rest of the country, other areas where you might run into some problems, the northwest, where we have scattered rain for you, and then toward the east, where we have rain and thunderstorms, some of those storms could be strong or even severe. That's what we're looking at in our travel trouble spot here, the areas in orange and especially the areas in red. That's where you're going to run into the potential problems. And we could also see some severe weather here to the north from western Tennessee and Kentucky on into Illinois. And as we head on to the south here in South Carolina and Lawrence County, you're just a thunderstorm warning right now, so you'll want to take cover immediately. Here to the north, though, we do have a watch box in effect. It's a tornado watch box here, so look out for severe storms that could potentially spawn tornadoes. You want to remain very alert if you live in this area here, shaded in red. Now we can see rain from the Midwest on toward the Carolina coast with scattered showers all the way down to the Gulf Coast. While we move westward, it's rain and 
the higher elevations could be getting some snow here through the Rockies and on into the Sierra. So wintry weather not over yet. Fog reducing your visibility. Rain showers in LA and San Diego and sunny skies will be the rule for you in Seattle with a high of 58 degrees. Well, that's it for Travel Wise. A reminder, you can find additional information at weather.com. But your weekend outlook is coming up next.